hey you guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is featuring ali pearl hair they sent me over their 613 deep wave hair um they also sent me a 656 closure and i just have some got to be gel on the back to protect my knots and look how big this closure is like so much parting space i was so excited to use this so we're going to be working with the kiss colors temptation and cinnamon and they also sent me this um, little bag out. I always like when companies send you goodies in their packages to make you feel like they actually care about their customers. So I know you guys already know how to watercolor. I'm just going to let you guys watch the process and I'll be right back. So while working with this color, the color wasn't really sticking at all. I had like pieces of blonde still in left in the hair no matter how much I dipped it, no matter how much I opened the bundles up. Like this color for some reason was just not sticking to the bundles. Later I found out that it was actually because of the brand that I used. Um, I don't know why this Kiss brand does not do well with watercoloring, but um, I usually use the Adore brand, but I tried to switch it up a little bit. Um, you guys are going to see me go back in with some Adore dye later on, just because I wanted the color to be more vibrant, and the Kiss colors just wasn't doing it for me. So you see I'm like steady dipping the hair in, trying to get the color to stick and literally nothing was working. Like <laughs> I tried this process so many times. I went through like five bottles of the um, Kiss Temptation color dyes. Like usually when you watercolor, you only need like one or two bottles of dye. But I had to keep adding more and more color because it was just not sticking correctly. As you guys can see here, um, after 100 dips, like it actually stuck, but it still wasn't that vibrant color that I wanted it to be. So here I'm just dipping the rest of my bundles just to make sure um, I have the same color base for all of the bundles. So here is how the color came out, but it wasn't vibrant enough for me. So here I'm going in with my Adore dye in Cajun Spice. And I'm going to um, kind of add like an orange tint to the hair because that's actually what I wanted in the first place. I wanted it to be like the, um, the ginger colors that everybody is doing. That's so super cute and trendy right now. But um, these two colors actually made like a darker um, ginger color like a pumpkin spice color you guys will see it um, at the end of the video even though the color came out really really cute it's not exactly what I wanted it to be but um, yeah you guys will see the finishing look at the end of the video Oh, 
what's up guys so this is the final look for the color i was trying to achieve um the color is a little bit different from what i wanted i wanted like the the ginger color but this is like a like a darker version of a ginger it's like a pumpkin spice type color um i do like it i did not think i would actually like this color on me but it actually came out very 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 pretty i've received a lot of compliments on this color already um yeah so let's get into the specs about the hair the hair came 613 deep wave or deep curly i'm not sure check the description box for all information so yeah um as i was combing through the hair i did get some shedding but that's kind of expected when you get deep wave hair not to mention the hair was 613 which means it was already highly highly processed before you even got it so you have to treat this hair with um care like literally like keep it moisturized keep um conditioner and oils in it um i actually don't have anything but like a curling cream i put in yesterday and the curls are still popping i just like spray like a little bit of water on the hair just to refresh the curls a little bit but yeah this is their six by six closure and the closure comes like here so all of this is closure so you have so much parting space like my part goes all the way down um i love a six by six closure because as you guys know or as you some of you may know i'm not really a frontal girl i prefer my closures i like to take my wigs on and off i do not like gluing my wigs down so this closure does not require any glue however um for my personal preference i always put a little got to be glue spray the free spray um and sometimes the the gel and the black bottle but if you guys are looking for an alternative um for like if you want the look of a frontal but not the maintenance of having to glue it down having to get it touched up and having to replace your frontal definitely definitely give the larger closures a try um i know there is five by five six by six and seven by seven closures available i don't know if ali pearl has the seven by sevens but i know they have the five by five and the six by sixes so definitely give these larger closures a try they are giving the frontals a run for their money honey literally <laughs> um but yeah um all the specs for this hair and the links and stuff will be down below make sure you guys look at the description box um be sure to follow me on instagram um be sure to follow my business page i link everything down below as well don't be afraid to leave a comment smash that like button hit that subscribe button and if you are subscribed hit that notification bell <laughs> so you can know when i upload and as always i want to thank you guys all for watching and i will see you guys in the next video bye